Hey guys, Modern here and I was just about to go to bed but then I discovered some really interesting news on the forums and let me show you this. Um, this is the Asian or the Taiwanese Diablo 3 forum and there was a post and the website called diablo.sumpage.com translated this post and maybe some of you remember when I was talking about duping and uh, rollback dupes and this is fixed now. This is gonna be fixed now. Now basically the blue post in the Asian forums was Blizzard revamps Asian Diablo 3 account restorations, items restored are now bound to an account and cannot be sold or traded. Um, if we read the plug post, like here's the translation for it. Um, starting at 11 a.m. Taiwan time, on December 18, all Diablo 3 restored equipment, including inventory and stash, such as weapons or armor, will be bound to the account. This means that items will not be able to be traded with other players or placed on auction and so on. Also important, the game economy is an important part of the quality of the gaming experience and any attempt to use fraud to obtain additional items, duping, may cause harm to the economy and the experience of other players in the game. And we hope to give a warning to those dishonest behavior and so on. Now, first question is, uh, what is rollback duping? Rollback duping, I'm gonna talk about it later again but rollback duping is basically you give your gear to another account or to a friend of yours and then you like use the automatic rollback system for Blizzard you just claim I got hacked and the hacker stole all my items please give my items back and yeah result of this is the person that you traded the items before still is gonna keep the items and you have them as well and then you can do this again and again and again and that's basically how the probably or most likely the 32 manticores in Asia were created by doing such rollbacks. Now it was a pretty big problem, I made a video about it. Um, it received many views, I think 120,000 and seems like Blizzard did care about it and yeah. Now why are they introducing this change in Asia first? First, the problem is bigger in Asia than anywhere else. In Asia, the gem prices are still extremely low. They were actually down to 100k uh, at the prime of the duping. But yeah, um, and yeah, most items that are duped are being duped in Asia. There are still some duped items in the US and also in Europe. For example, in Europe, there's a new Echoing Fury dupe, which maybe you might have heard already. But yeah, those are the two main reasons why they test this on Asia first. But I'm pretty sure they're gonna introduce, like they just wanna test it in Asia first. Maybe Blizzard doesn't <laughs> see Asia that important, but they test it first here and then if it's a success there, if it works, they're going to introduce the same system in the US and Europe because the US and Europe also need to be protected against rollback duping. So yeah. Now, let me explain to you the changes. Here you can see in my Excel, um, this is the old rollback system duping and this is the new rollback system duping. Now the fix doesn't uh, fix duping entirely. Mm, but yeah, let me explain the differences. The old rollback system duping um, you had, you, let's say you found an item, or let's say you want to dupe enter gear, you have top notch gear in your account. Then either you give your account to a friend, or you use a second account, and then you do a rollback and you get the account on your first character, and you also have it still on the second account. So basically, you have everything twice. What you do then is all the or every items you give them on the first account again, and then the first account has everything twice. For example, one time in the inventory, one time in the or one time equipped and then same procedure he gives everything to the second account or to a third account or a new friend whatever so it's not that obvious and does another rollback and the result of this is he's gonna have like the two items that he just gave on the third account are still gonna be there but he's also gonna have them now in his own character he's gonna get back his inventory and he's gonna get restored his gear so now he has four then same procedure again and it's eight and then next time it would be 16 next time it would be 32 and so on. Um, the new rollback system kind of works like this. You give everything that you have on the second account and then you, for example, delete the items on your character or you log in with a different IP and steal them or whatever. And then you claim, I got hacked again. Please give me back my gear. What Blizzard does now, they give you back your gear, but it's gonna be bound on account. So what you can do then is you can do another rollback on the second account because the second account has the items but not bound on account yet. So the second account can do a rollback, then the items will become binomial equipment on the first and second account, but the third account 
still going to have um, the main version of the item. So you can already dupe one at a time. Now, first this limits the dupes. It's much harder to dupe now. For example, before it was one step, two steps, three steps, four steps to dupe something 16 times. Now it would require 16 steps, 16 rollbacks to dupe an item 16 times. And you're only going to be able to sell one version of it. Here you could sell all 16 because nothing is bound on the count. But in future you're only, only going to be able to sell one version each. And then you can't dupe it anymore because the rest is bound on the count. But what's even more important is, now with the new system you're going to be able to find out the source of duping. Because for example if you dupe an item, the first character is going to have it bound on, the, bound on the count. And the second one is going to have it not bound. So the second one can still sell it or either use it himself. But then you have two people with the items. And then you know for sure one of them is the duper. One of them is, in, is involved with duping. And you can find out on websites like Diablo Progress like who is actually duping items. I don't think that many people are going to dupe after this change. Um, it's still possible, but it's going to be a lot less frequent. And if someone actually dupes, we're going to find out who it was. So yeah, overall, I uh, really welcome this change. It's Nice to see that Blizzard is working on some things. They also banned a lot of butters um, a few days ago. And yeah, but in conclusion, I just hope that Blizzard keeps um, to go against people that exploit the game, against dupers, against scammers, against, I don't know, butters and so on. And But also still have time to like work on improvements to the game. For example, work on PvP, work on patch 1.0.7 and so on. Yeah, thanks for watching and I'll be back.